All right. Well, welcome to Learning Lab on Monday morning. Um, I have a couple of quick things for you today, just as a reminder. Um, we do have um, our wonderful training admin Haley in here this morning, so if you do have a question, go ahead and raise your hand or throw it into chat. She'll be keeping an eye on things and she can always interrupt me as needed. Um, today we're going to be going over uh, uh, some of our tools that are most important to you, but in their mobile version. So this is one of the things that we have not covered before, which is how easy a lot of these tools are to use on the go. A lot of agents use this just in desktop mode or sometimes in tablet, um, but all of our tools have actually been designed to be mobile responsive. Um, so instead of having an app, the majority of our tools that are done by the vendors that we have all have mobile versions on them so that you can just click it and go uh, right on your phone without actually having to use um, an additional app in order to do things. Some of them do have um, a couple of apps on there. We will go ahead and um, I'll drop those links in there for you. Before we get started today, though, I do want to give you a couple of links in chat because I know this is going to come up and it's going to be a question um, that will come up in the future here. And that is, how do I add some of these shortcuts and some of these apps to my home screen? So as we go, um, you may ask yourself, well, I want to access this, but I would like it to act like an app on my phone. So I want to be able to just do kind of a one click and be able to add it directly um, to my phone's home screen. So I'm actually going to put the instructions for both Android and for um, for Apple users um, in the chat. So there's two different links in here. And they're both going to show you how to add app shortcuts and widgets to your home screen. So if there's something that you want to be able to access directly, like if you want to add rwtconnect.com, for example, as an actual button on your phone, uh, because there isn't an app for it, it's just mobile responsive, this will show you how to do that. So I wanted to go ahead and pop those into chat real quick, just so you guys had those before we get started. And that way, when we're done with this, if you wanted to do some uh, app building and some shortcut building on your phone, you're able to do that. So that first one that I went ahead and added in there is going to be the one that you're going to use if you were an Android user. And the second one I'm adding in here, just give me one second here, is going to be if you are on any Apple devices at all. So those should work for you right there. Um, another quick thing that I want to add in here before we get started today is we are not going to go over the mobile app for Paradigm. Uh, Paradigm is one of our tools. Of course, it does our uh, virtual tours for us based on the photos that are in your um, listings in the MLS. It also has, of course, that reach social component to it. I am going to, however, drop the instructions. You guys can take a look at this later if you don't mind uh, for the mobile agent app in here. One of the reasons we are not going to go over this today is because the link um, right now is only up for Apple users. It is down for Android users. Um, as you know, both Apple and Android, um, in order to be in their app stores, you have to be uh, verified. And if you make any updates, it has to go through an update process. And that is the same for both Apple and Android when you go to add things to it. Um, right now it is down for Android users, but it's up for Apple users. Um, so as soon as that comes back in the store, that will be there, but wanted to at least give you that mobile app instruction there. And I'm going to give you one more link here. And then for those of you who are on Apple, because it is up right now, I'll go ahead and give you that direct link. Okay. So in chat right now, just as a recap here, you have two links of first and foremost, one is for Android and one is for Apple devices, and that's to be able to create shortcuts on your mobile device. So if you like anything that we're talking about today and you wanna add that link like RWT Connect to your homepage as if it were an app, because remember it's just mobile responsive, that's the first two links. And then the second set of links that we have today, um, things that we are, are not gonna touch on today, but we'll probably touch on in a future class um, are things like the Paradigm mobile agent app. And of course that second link there is for Apple. And of course the Android link is right now down for review, but it should be back up shortly, which is one of the reasons we're not gonna cover that today. Um, if you are watching this recording, uh, after the class and you don't see those links for whatever reason, uh, just drop a note to us at web support at rwtown.com and we'll be happy to send those links to you directly outside of the class if you need them. 
All right, let me go ahead and share my screen and let's get started today. Hopefully I'm not going to keep you too long. Just wanted to give you an introduction and show you how nice and easy it is to use some of our tools in those mobile versions today. All right, let me get you guys moved over here to this screen. Um, and hopefully if I have to refresh uh, for whatever reason, we can go ahead and do that. Uh, we are going to be looking at this a little bit larger today uh, than what you might see it on your mobile uh, phone, but you are welcome to, of course, follow along. I'm going to start at our main um, hub that we have for just about everything, which is RWT Connect. I have already logged in, but for you to log in, you would just, of course, uh, go to whatever your mobile browser is. I will say that all of our mobile responsive tools work best in Chrome. So even if you are um, an Apple user of any type, if you're using iOS, um, it does work best in Chrome. We do find that, you know, of course, it is really, really difficult to support every single phone that's out there in every single browser, um, but the one that's kept up to date uh, the most by all of our developers and all of our tool developers and things like that is they're usually designing first and foremost for Chrome because it does have the majority of users. So if you are up to date on Chrome, no matter what version you're using on your phone, um, you're usually not going to have a problem with that mobile responsiveness. However, um, if you find that you're using another browser, so for those of you who may be using some of the native browsers on your phone, or if you're using something like Safari, and you get truly stuck where something is absolutely positively just does not look right and does not work, one of the best things that you can do is take a screenshot of that for us. Um, a lot of times we'll get tickets <clears throat> in web support that just say, hey, whatever this particular tool is, excuse me here, <clears throat> getting over a little bit of a cold. Sorry about that. Um, one of the things that we get is a ticket that says, hey, this is not working. Um, and, you know, it's usually it's I'm not working on my cell phone. <clears throat> Let's try a little coffee here. Hold on one second. But in order for us to chase down what that is, a lot of times we need to know what tool you're using, what screen you might have been on, and also what your phone or tablet would be, plus what browser you're using. So if you do have a problem, and again, something is not working at all. Um, just let us know and try to provide us with as much information as possible. So your ticket might look something like, hey, I tried to um, do something on my phone and it did not work if I went to the my listing section and um, I am on a Android phone, I am on a Galaxy, whatever it happens to be, you know, 20 and or 24 and something isn't working and I was using the native browser or I was using the Chrome um, or whatever it is. And that will help us chase it down a little bit. Haley, did you have a quick question? Nope, hit it by mistake, sorry. Okay, perfect. So yeah, so if you have anything with your mobile uh, stuff, just let us know and just try to try to provide us as many details as possible. Um, and if you know how to take a screenshot, uh, that would be perfect. Um, uh, lots of phones have different ways to take screenshots and photos and things like that. If you just send that to us, it helps us um, be able to work with our developers to be able to make sure that we can get things as mobile responsive for you as possible. All right, so let's dive in and take a look at um, the different tools. I have a bunch of them open right now. They're already open in their mobile versions. And again, I'm showing you this a little bit big, but you are welcome to follow along on your phone as well if you'd like to this morning. So this happens to be RWT Connect. I am already signed in. I'm signed in as one of our agents today. I want you to notice that it's going to look a little bit different here than what it normally does. Things are obviously going to be stacked very vertically in our class today. But I do want you to see that all of your tools that you're familiar with and that you like to use and all of your different links are available on here at all times. So I'm on the homepage of RWT Connect. This would normally look very horizontal. This is what we affectionately call our leaderboard. Well, it doesn't quite look like a leaderboard in this format, but all the things are the same. So here's where you can get your new leads, new contacts, your recently active and your total contacts, getting into your CRM emails, your listing views, things that are going on on your website. So of course, this is all the leader view or the leaderboard. You may have noticed in some of my last classes, I said that we have this giant button now that says Insights Dashboard. We introduced the Insights Dashboard last year. I'm actually going to come back to this, but I do want you to know that the reason why it's getting so much real estate right now is because it, because it is truly kind of a one-click hub for you uh, to be able to manage a lot of your CRM and a lot of your contacts and things that you do. Now, we have provided those resources recently. If you were in my class two weeks ago, you know that we added an entire one-click 
section uh, to your CRM, to RWT Connect, and that's also accessible here, but it's also very accessible in that Insights dashboard as well. Let's keep scrolling down, and the first thing that you're going to come to is resources and news. A lot of you need to be able to use things like that RWT library if you're looking for a particular document or something that you need to send out, um, maybe for a listing presentation or things like that. Speaking of which, here's your working with buyers and working with sellers. If you click that, it will take you right into that library for you. I am going to show you that, but I do want to go ahead and scroll down on this home page real quick first. Everything that you're used to seeing is here. It's just in a vertical format. And there's that new one-click feature that we had. Remember, we introduced this again two weeks ago where we have this create a contact, manage your contacts, sending an e-card, set up reminders. All of this is available in mobile version. As I continue to scroll down, there's your quick shortcuts for you. So for those of you who need the shortcuts to BHHS resource or things like dot loop, or you're looking to submit an order, or get to Agent Central using buy side, you want to do a coming soon, all of this is available in mobile version. And actually, I have these open up here, so we're actually going to take a look at a bunch of these tools here in just a second in their mobile versions. But I do want you to see that it's available in here as well. Even Express Docs is mobile. And as we continue to scroll down, for those of you who are going to be using the business planning and sales pipeline and things like that, all of your client database information, all of that is, again, all the way down here and available. We've moved a lot of that up into that one-click section just to make it nice and easy for you to use. So the majority of stuff that's all the way down there and below is in that one-click section. I said I was going to go back and I wanted to show you that Insights dashboard real quick. There's that big button for Insights dashboard, and if I click that, it's going to bring us to the mobile version of that Insights dashboard. So remember, again, most of the time we're used to looking at this in a horizontal format when I'm doing trading, but all of this is available in that mobile responsive version. So again, remember, we are not on an app. This is done specifically to be on a mobile version, and everything resizes to be mobile friendly. So here we can see that all of our leads are accepted and set up. We don't need to do anything there. All of our listings are complete. Um, we don't have any action plan suggestions. If there were, you would see some buttons show up here. You could click those and it would take you right into those sections where you might need to accept a lead. Again, that's all mobile friendly. There's those reports about what's going on on our website and our listing views. Some stuff about emails. Here's some more of those one-click functions, things like add a task or check on our clients and things like that. This is where we can start to create a contact, send that email, add a task if we need to. This is at the point that I'm going to show you that that create contact is actually mobile friendly. So if I'm in this dashboard and I either use that one click on the home page or if I'm in the insights dashboard, the button is the same for create a contact. If I go ahead and click that, we're going to give it a chance to load here. But I want you to see this is the mobile friendly version of just adding a contact. So if you're on the go and you're out and about and you meet somebody or you need to just add somebody real quick to your CRM, if you're logging into RWT Connect and you click that one click button that says create a contact or if you're in your insights dashboard and need to add somebody, you can certainly go ahead and add their information right here. And add as much or a little information as possible and then hit add contact information and that's going to go ahead and take you over into your main contact area. Let me go ahead and click that back button here for us. It'll take us back to that insights dashboard again. Just wanted to show you a couple of other things that are very mobile responsive and mobile friendly here. So if we wanted to actually send an e-card out of the RWT Connect uh, system here, you can actually do that as well. So here I am in that email marketing. Maybe we want to send out a little quick e-card, or maybe we forgot to you know, send out that holiday card and we're traveling with our family already and we wanted to go ahead and send something out. We can certainly do that. And again, remember, we're looking at everything in this vertical format again. So remember, if you don't see something you're used to that might be in that horizontal format, so in our case on desktop, email marketing is going to be to the right. Everything is going to be down below. So if you just keep scrolling, you're going to find all your favorite tools. So here we get down to all of our individual cards that we have down here. But of course, everything is still functioning the exact same way that we always wanted it to. And if we just go to something like stock templates and click it, it's going to go ahead and open it. But again, it's just going to be in that vertical format. So if you need to send somebody a quick birthday card, uh, maybe we're looking at a Christmas card or something like that, you can do that. I'm actually going to go ahead and click on that Christmas. Now, you would normally expect that to open up to the right, but just know that everything is now opening vertically. So if we just continue to scroll down, it should have opened up our uh, Christmas cards down below. Of course, I'm on desktop doing this today, so it's going to be a little weird on here, but 
it has opened up the Christmas cards down below for us. So you can go ahead and try that. I do want you to know that that menu that we have, we call this again the hamburger menu up here in the upper left, still functions exactly the same. It just doesn't open horizontally. It's going to open vertically here. So if you do want to click and get back to anything that you need to, so if you do need to work with your leads or your listings or your clients, um, you can do all of that through that hamburger menu and kind of move around the system as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just click the listings button just so you can see what that looks like here. And again, you'll notice that everything again is opening in that vertical format. So instead of being horizontal, I'm just going to scroll down. It's going to show me a little less information than it does on the desktop version. So on the desktop version, this actually has a few more stats to it um, than it does on here. You'll actually have to click through to see some of those stats on this particular one. Um, but everything is available in that in that mobile version. So if I do go ahead and click on any of these listings. Again, I'm just clicking through here. You can go ahead and see all of the different formatted information. So if you do need to make any changes or you need to, you know, set up your seller insights or anything else like that, you can just keep going and scrolling through. This is one of the sections because everything is so long in here that you will have to scroll left to right, but everything is here and everything is available for you. So if you do need to just grab that quick listing link, for example, and maybe you want to go ahead and post it up to social media, that copy button is still going to work exactly the same here. You can certainly go ahead and share any of that. All of that information is going to be here as well. If you wanted to go ahead and use any of those boosts on um, the social functions for some of those new ads, you can do that. Um, if you needed to change any of this information, of course, it is all available here in here as well. All right. And again, anytime you need to get back, the back button does work. So the back button in your browser is going to work on your phone. You are welcome again to use that hamburger menu as well. And we can go back to the home page. And we can go back to either my dashboard or the insights dashboard, depending on where you are. If you're looking to uh, work with your contacts, you can certainly use the leaderboard here. If you click on total contacts, so while you notice that it's just fluidly going right from window to window here. And again, everything is in that vertical format. So you are going to be able to open that text app for those of you who have that texting subscription. And again, these are all those one click functions that have been added to the system. So do you need to create a contact? You can also do it directly from here from your main list. Do you need to assign to a group? Do you need to add reminders? And again, everything is in that vertical format. So if we just keep scrolling down, we're going to find all of our information. And here's all of our people that we have. And if we click on anyone here, we just click on their name. It is going to go ahead and open their contact record. And we can go ahead and make any changes that we need to on here. Notice that this does change a little bit here. So instead of the what we can do with them being on the left and the preview being on the right, you've heard me talk about that in a lot of our training. Again, everything's in that vertical format. So if we want to go ahead and text them, we can go ahead and click that text uh, button here. Don't forget that that texting does require a subscription. It is turned on. Uh, the button is turned on, but if you don't have the texting subscription, it'll give you a little pop up screen that says, um, do you want to sign up? But it is available on there. Um, you can view their property watch if one is set up for them right from here as well. And then you can actually see all their web activity. If you have any notes on their client, if you need to set them up on an action plan or an in send them a quick email, whatever it happens to be. And then, of course, all of their information is here as well. So if you were to have this client, maybe they were brand new and you wanted to set them up on an action plan. I showed you that individual email screen, but action plans also works in a responsive version. I could just go ahead and click that action plan and it will bring it up. And it's again down below here and it will show you all the action plans that that person is signed up for and any action plans that they could be signed up for as well. I am going to go back to the my dashboard section here. And I'm going to give that a quick scroll. Remember, there's where we get back to that insights dashboard. But I did want to show you things like uh, working with buyers and working with sellers. All of these individual tools that you're used to uh, seeing on that left hand side on desktop are all available in mobile version as well. So if I click on working with buyers, notice that it immediately scrolled down. It's got a little auto scroll there and there's all the different tools and things like the buyer's guide and about BHHS. There's that closing flyer, all the things that you're really familiar with that you might want to take um, into a home buying consultation. All nicely available right there for you. So it went ahead and auto scrolled. If I just scroll back up, it's going to just take me back uh, to our 
our quick live or quick links skip here. So I can go to something like working with sellers and click that. And again, that's just going to open that up down below. And there's all of our stuff like our seller's guide and getting to know us. What is a CMA? Things like that. So all of this, again, is downloadable right to your phone. It's also you're able to open up all of that information on there. So that's how that's going to work for you on this particular section with the buttons that are you normally see on your left. I'm just going to give a little quick shout out to coaching and training here. So for those of you who might have missed my class on the one click for whatever reason, if you click on coaching and training, you'll notice that all of our certain things like designations and stuff like that are on here. But there's that link to that training YouTube channel and the company training videos. So you're always welcome to go back and take a look at a bunch of our training that we have. Of course, if you open the training YouTube channel on your phone, it's going to open up your YouTube app that you already have. Um, and it will take you to that training channel just like you're used to on your desktop. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the tools that we actually have that are also available um, on a mobile version. So from RWT Connect, let me go ahead and just refresh this dashboard real quick. Remember, we went ahead and said that a lot of our different tools that we have, so we'll just keep scrolling down because there's a lot of information in vertical format here. There we go. A lot of our tools that we have, our business and email tools and things like that are all available in a um, an app version or a mobile version. So for those of you, obviously, we're, all of us are on that um, on Outlook or Microsoft 365 that is highly mobile compatible. Um, you are welcome to use it on there as is dot loop. I'm not going to open that today because it will go into active contracts. Um, so if you do have any questions on the dot loop side, certainly you can see the people in your office. They'll be happy to show you that in mobile version as well. But let's take a look at the BHHS Marketing Resource um, and BHHS Resource Center so that we can uh, see some of the stuff that is available to us as well on the national level. Give me one second here. We're going to go ahead and switch some screens. Go. Yeah. All right. So this is what Resource Center is going to look like in mobile. Now, it's a little bit wider than what you would have normally expected. And again, we're looking at this on a desktop mobile emulator right here. So this might look a little bit different on your screen. Some of these might stack a little bit better. I also have this at 100% today, which means it's going to be a little bit wider. But do know that just about everything works in here on mobile version, and it's been um, it's been done for mobile responsiveness. So there's no app to Resource Center on here. Again, it's just mobile responsive. If you click that BHHS Resource app from your phone, or your that button from your phone in RWT Connect, it will open up the mobile version of Resource Center automatically. Now, we're going to look at a couple of the tools that are in here that you probably use the most, but I do want you to know there is a mobile responsive version of everything in here, okay? But probably for the, the, the biggest things that we have are things like marketing resource, social media resource, and Sochi, and Chalk Digital, and all of them are mobile responsive. So let's go ahead and take a look at marketing resource first and foremost. And I have these already open so that I can make sure that we, we get through this pretty quickly. But if I do click this, it will open up another window. Um, and of course, it will open up correctly in mobile version. There we go. So this is the mobile version of BHHS Marketing Resource. I want you to notice how nice and clean this is. Of course, we went over this last year. They did um, give us a brand new version of Marketing Resource that was completely redesigned. One of the reasons they did do a redesign was to make it even more mobile friendly um, for on the go. You can do everything in Marketing Resource that you've been able to do on the desktop and tablet version in mobile and they've given it nice uh, categorizations in here to make things really easy to find. So you'll notice that you still have that top section here, which is going to give you all the latest stuff in marketing resource. So if there's anything new or stuff that they've um, you know, released and things like that, it's going to be in that banner that scrolls. You do have that hamburger menu. Notice that we're going to have these hamburger menus just about everywhere. Once we go to the mobile version, you're going to have hamburger menus for just about all of our tools. And if you click it, it's going to give you usually what's in the very top navigation bar. So for those of you who have been used to using marketing resource on, you know, desktop or tablet, you'll remember that we have the library, the contacts, upload, drip campaigns, all of your listing features and things like that along that top bar. They're going to be under that hamburger menu this time. So if you do need to work with your contacts or you want to go to your library because you've already set something up, maybe you didn't finish it and you want to send it again, or maybe you want to copy something you've already done. All of those functions are already there. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at that main window, though. So we can go ahead and scroll down on here. You still have that big search templates bar. So if you're looking for something really specific, we know Thanksgiving's coming up, for example, and we just want to send out, maybe we want to get ready and send out a Thanksgiving card. Um, if we just type in Thanksgiving in here and click search, it's going to go ahead and bring up everything that's coming in for Thanksgiving. So again, all of this is very mobile compatible. So we have all of our different social images that are in here. Um, we can certainly filter that down if we needed to, to something maybe just like an e-card. Maybe that's all we're setting up. Now, for those of you who have only ever used this in de desktop version, you know that your filters are normally over here on the left-hand side. I want you to notice that we have a couple of buttons here. Um, this is telling us that it's mine is already preset for English on here, so it's going to uh, show only the English versions. If you need it in a different language, you can certainly take that off. Just go ahead and click the X and it'll remove that filter. But you're going to notice that we have a button here called filters with a plus sign. This is everything that's normally on that left hand side. So if we do want to filter this out by type, so maybe we're looking for something specific. Maybe we're looking for just e-cards. We can certainly just use that drop down menu, click on e-card. It's going to filter it out and just bring in the e-card. So notice that it took all those social images away. Maybe we're done with the e-cards. We've picked out a great e-card. We've set it up. We're ready to send and things like that. We can just go ahead and eliminate a filter by clicking that X again. And it's going to bring in everything from Thanksgiving that was available to us. Um, and of course, it'll add all the different social images and things like that. So if you are looking for those filters, you're just looking to narrow stuff down, do keep an eye out for those little plus signs. It usually means that there's something under there that you can add. So if you do want to have something just like a social image, we can just go ahead and click that this time. So now we're filtering to just the English language and social media. And there's all of our different social images. Just to show you how nice and easy this is, maybe this is something that we want to post. It's just a great little pie shot with feeling thankful, and it's something we want to download and, and upload into our uh, social media. Maybe we're going to put this on Facebook. If we click on anything, I wanted to see how mobile responsive this is. Works the exact same way. Always find that giant getting started button. It works the same on desktop, mobile, or tablet. And if you click on getting started, it's going to ask you to give it a title. So we'll just put this as a test card for today. And it's going to allow us to have those customizations, those previews, those infos, and things like that. So all of that is right here um, on the screen. So this one is going to be a little bit different here. So if we wanted to download this image, we can certainly uh, double click on it or hold it, and it will allow us to download it and be able to repost it just like every other social image that's on there. Um, but do know that you do have the ability to preview it. You have the ability to customize it and things like that on here, just like you did on the normal one. Going to go ahead and get rid of that there. Let me go over to my library real quick just so that you can see what that looks like. So here's a bunch of different test cards and some videos and things like that. So everything is available right here, as you've always expected. And let me show you what that context area looks like, just so you can get a sneak preview of what that looks like here. So this is what it would normally look like in desktop. Let me get that down into a mobile version for you. And we can take a look at that. So that is going to be our mobile version. Again, I normally this is much I've got it blown up here for our class, but it's going to look like that in mobile. So everything is going to be mobile compatible. So if you do need to work with your contacts, if you needed to add somebody to a group or import something, if you wanted to work with your groups, you could certainly do that. All of that is available on that mobile section. All right, let's go back to that home page for a resource center real quick. Let's take a look at the social media resource. I'm not going to get dive too deep into the the um, Soshi um, uh, desktop or mobile version here, but I do want you to see that it is available for you um, just because Soshi is such a big program. Uh, if we're on here. We can go ahead and click on social media resource. It's going to give us the option to choose either Soshi or Ace. Let's go ahead and choose Soshi. I already have that open for us up here. And let's see if we can get that to come back in again. All right, we'll just go ahead and re-click it. I think that's uh, Media Center's way of saying that I talk too long.
All right, so there's our desktop version. Let me go ahead and get this down into a mobile version so that you guys can see what it looks like. There we go. So notice how nice and easy that went down into mobile version. This is what it's going to look like on a mobile phone for you. And again, we're back to seeing those hamburger menus again. It's going to become a, uh, a staple in your life if you're using this on the go. So there's our hamburger menu. And if we go ahead and click that, it's going to give us everything that we're used to seeing on that left hand side. So if we wanted to get any insights um, or reports or things like that, it's all going to be available here. And don't forget that each individual agent as you're going through this is considered a location. Uh, so she was actually set up for huge businesses with lots of uh, different franchises and things like that. Um, of course, our agents are not individual locations, um, but they are called locations in our system. So you're actually a location when you sign in yourself. If you do need to go ahead and connect any of your social media to this, or if you're looking to go ahead and schedule anything into Sochi, you can certainly go ahead and click that social button. And it's going to go ahead and bring in things like the scheduler, the discovery, the queue, um, anything that's been published or libraries, images, all the things that are available for you. If you have not had a chance to go ahead and set up your Sochi account to be able to link over to your social media, the very first time that you click schedule, it's going to go ahead and ask you to link. And these are the things that are available for you so that you can go ahead and connect either your Facebook business account. Um, if you're using Twitter now X, you can certainly do that. Your Google business profile can actually go in here as well. LinkedIn, Instagram, and of course, TikTok is also in here for those of you who are using it. So you do have the ability to go ahead and connect. If you click on any of these, they do actually work in the mobile version to connect as well. You'll go through really similar steps. Uh, to be able to connect your accounts. I will tell you just from doing training and helping agents set this up, it is easier to do on desktop um, as far as setup and connection is concerned. But once you are connected, this is really easy to use in a mobile version, but everything is available on here as well. So just takes a couple of extra steps if you wanna set it up in the mobile version. If you need to get to any of your account information or if you're looking for any training or help or anything else like that, it's gonna be available under these three dots up here in the upper right. So if you are looking for that help section, it's gonna be available under there as well. I do want you to see though that under the social section, even things like all of your libraries and images and things like that are all going to work in here. So we have libraries from um, BHHS and all the forever agent marketing for those of you who are in there. Um, we do have different holidays and seasons that are available for posting, global reports, all sorts of fun stuff in here. So all of these libraries are very, very mobile compatible in here. Just wanna scroll through just so you can see the depth on there. And then as, as the company ourselves continues to use this and starts to develop this, you'll also see additional images from the company and potentially your office in here as well. So do keep an eye out for those libraries and we'll let you know when those have been added. So Sochi is completely mobile responsive and ready for you to use. And again, we got there by going from rwtconnect.com. We clicked on BHHS resource. And then from BHHS resource, which of course is the global intranet, we went ahead and clicked on social media resource and it took us into Sochi. The last tool I want to show you today um, on here, let me go ahead and click back for us here real quick. I do want you to see that Chalk Digital is also mobile compatible. Um, a lot of you will get emails from Chalk Digital when a new listing has been taken that says, hey, you have 24 hours to adjust this ad or to make changes or to view it or whatever it happens to be. We certainly encourage you to update that and make any changes that you might need. You also have the ability to add your seller to be able to add, um, get a seller report and things like that. All of that is mobile compatible. So if you get that email, you're on the go, maybe you're out of town, whatever it happens to be, um, you can go ahead and click through and the entire, um, the entire Chalk Digital platform is completely mobile responsive. And again, there's no app required here. It's just going to take you right into that mobile version. It's just going to look a little bit different. So I've gone in and I am in Chalk Digital. So we're just gonna pretend I clicked that button. I've already logged in on here. And this way you can go ahead and see. This is one of the uh, places where everything is done just a little bit wide, just because of the amount of information that's available. So of course I'm logged into an agent with some listings here, but I do want you to notice again, everything's in that vertical format, but everything is here that you're used to. So if you do need to get back to different menus that you've been used to seeing on the left-hand side, they are going to be under that hamburger menu. So there's those three little lines up there in that upper right-hand corner. Let me blow this up for you guys a little bit. There you go. 
So if I go ahead and click on those three lines up at the top, I can get back to all of my campaigns. I can get back to my dashboard or my listings. Um, if I have any active ads running that have been boosted, so this goes beyond that free week that you get from um, BHHS. Um, if you're running any kind of boosted ad, open house ad, or even some personal ads against your own database, you can get into your payments and credits. Um, if you belong to a team, you'll also see some of your team settings in here as well if you need to. So the, for those of you who do belong to a team, just know that when you click those hamburger menus, if your team options are available, they will be under those hamburger menus as well. well let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these here. So I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down. And I want you to notice there's my listing and it has some basic information on it. Um, so this is the same information that's available on the desktop. So it's just going to give you a little preview. It's going to let us know which MLS we're working with. For those of you who belong to more than one MLS, you'll actually see duplications of your listing in here potentially. It's letting us know what company we're with, which is always good. Uh, it's letting us know the date that the ads ran. And then if we wanted to go in and we needed to either boost this listing or we wanted to see what our campaign status was and things like that, all of these buttons will work on here as well. Let me pick one that's a little bit more active here. So if we wanted to go ahead and boost this listing, this listing is obviously run and it's beyond um, that seven day free listing. We can go ahead and boost that. Again, it's going to give us everything that we needed here. Um, and it's going to just let us boost that listing, change the open, add an open house, do a price change, things like that, select our weeks. I'm actually going to lower the, um, let me go ahead and refresh here real quick. Back to my listings. There we go. Um, but everything in here is, is, again, mobile compatible. And just to be able to go back and forth through here, if we wanted to go to the dashboard, we can certainly do that. It's going to give us some reporting. It's fetching our campaigns. There aren't any running right now. But again, everything in here is mobile compatible. And if you do actually want to see some of that reporting, you can actually go ahead and click that reporting. It's all available in that mobile version. So there's all your reach and your CTRs, number of clicks, things like that. So there's that heat map to show where the ad actually ran. And you can download this in a PDF version if you needed to. So if you wanted to download this PDF and send it off really quickly to a client, you can certainly do that. You can also share it. Um, well, you'll notice that on most of our tools, we do have little share buttons here. That will certainly allow you to share via text. It's just going to allow you to share via email, whatever you'd like to do on there. And for some of our stuff, it makes sense to share on things like social media and stuff like that as well. But if I do click that share button, it's going to give us that share option. All right, so those are the big three that I wanted to cover in um, BHHS resource, which is uh, marketing resource, Soshi, and Chalk. But just to give you an idea, just to give you kind of a little sneak peek, I want you to let, to let you know that a lot of our other stuff is mobile compatible as well. So from RWT Connect, one of the things that I've actually clicked on here is Express Docs. Um, believe it or not, this is Express Docs in mobile version. Most people don't get to see this. They see the desktop version only. Um, but I was in, again, RWT Connect. So this is RWT Connect in mobile version. We just were at marketing our BHHS resource right here. And if I continue to scroll down, we're in our marketing and productivity tools. We're just taking a look at a couple of these just so that you can see what they look like. So right now I'm in Express Docs. A lot of us use this, of course, to send out, um, you know, postcards and things like that. And if you scroll through, you'll notice that on desktop version, normally these are really small squares and there's a lot of them left to right. In this case, it's in a vertical format, but everything that you're used to is still here. So for those of you who are using this new letter feature, it's right here as well. You have your auto property marketing or your APM. You get notifications when you have a new listing that your APM marketing is available. It allows you to do a quick order of brochures and postcards and things like that. All of that's available. Some of our other stuff that we order through here, but there's those property postcards. I'm just going to go ahead and click through on. Um, let me do a quick continue to scroll here. Do, 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 do. There's our stay in touch, one of my favorite categories, of course. And again, everything's just going to be in that vertical format here. But all of this is, again, mobile compatible. So Express Docs is 100% mobile responsive. So if you're looking to start to uh, send out some stay in touch cards, maybe you want to send out something um, for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Christmas is going to come first on here, so we're just going to go ahead and click it. 
we can certainly do that. And then all of our different things that we use to filter it down are available in here. So if you're looking at small postcards or large postcards, if you're looking for door hangers or even folded postcards, they're available. So these are all large foldover cards. I'm just going to go ahead and click one. Want you to notice again, here we have that mobile responsiveness. Everything that we would normally see on desktop is here. It's just in a slightly different format. So here's our where we're following along on how far we've come. So we're just looking at the product. We can go ahead and customize it, and then we can go ahead and check out. But notice that all of our different branding options are here. Are we going to choose uh, to have that shipped, or if we're going to have it sent out, um, what kind of coding we're going to have, if we're going to work on our sides, how we're going to personalize it, everything else. All of that is here. It's just in that vertical format. So instead of clicking next, 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 and going through all those different horizontal screens, we're literally just scrolling vertically until we get to the end and you can go ahead and check out. So for those of you who are on the go, again, maybe you're traveling, maybe you just forgot um, to send something out. Um, you know, you're not going to be in the office today or you're not going to be in front of your desktop, but you know you're getting toward the end of the month and you need to use that ad credit, whatever it is. Um, you can certainly go ahead and do this right on your phone and be able to send out like a quick postcard um, and order all of your APM materials as well. A couple last things I wanted to show you here. Again, we're right in our tools section on here as well. By the way, all of these are mobile responsive. I'm just showing you the tools that are most used for today, but do know that all of these tools are mobile responsive. So if you use some of these tools and we're not covering them today, just know that you do have a mobile version of them. So one of the things I just clicked on now is buy side. Um, so buy side, otherwise known as Percy AI, is again 100% mobile compatible on here as well. You'll just notice that some of the things that you're used to seeing at the top are going to be hidden under that that hamburger menu that you're going to have to get used to on mobile version. And that's where we're going to have our dashboard, our home valuation site, things like that. Your find, your ad, your messages. But all of those tools are already exposed out here on this main menu. So if you do need to see what valuations came in, or if you're adding a buyer, if you're adding a new listing um, to coming soon, you can certainly do that. So all of those buttons that are normally along the top, or if you have to click through, are also available just on this main screen. So this is the main screen that you log into when you get to buy side. If you needed to add a coming soon for whatever reason, just go ahead and click that add listing button. It's going to bring up the mobile version of the coming soon listing. And of course, you just go ahead and click add. And notice that it just refreshes here and it's going to bring in that mobile version of coming soon. So if you know that all of your paperwork is signed, you've got a couple of quick photos that you took while you were out at the listing and you want to go ahead and put it in as coming soon, you can certainly do that. All of the same fields are here just in a vertical format, and you can certainly upload a file that will take it right from your phone. It does not matter. Um, you can certainly go ahead and upload a couple of quick photos. Maybe you took a really pretty photo of the exterior and a couple of really pretty interior photos and maybe a, a little preview shot of the pool or something like that. Um, put a couple of files in there just to give it a quick little preview for your coming soon, um, and you can go ahead and send out your coming soon from mobile version. All of that is available. Just going back to the My Dashboard section here, just want to show you two last things. Um, we do a lot of marketing orders and a lot of things through Agent Central right now. Just wanted to let you know that both uh, the Hub, which is where Agent Central is, and also submitting a marketing order are both um, mobile compatible, mobile friendly as well. So let me go ahead and show you what submit an order looks like. So for those of you who like to use the Jot form version of submit an order, just so you know, it is 100% mobile compatible. Here it is. I see Claire is in our room right now. She did a great job setting this up for us. Everything in here is mobile, just in that vertical format. Just keep scrolling down. So there's those buttons that you're used to seeing in a horizontal version. Uh, just find what you're looking for, your flyer, your postcard, or your custom order. And it'll certainly take you through all of the different steps for that. And then expose any extra fields that you need as you go, depending on what you're choosing. You can get down here at the bottom. You can actually browse your files and send links and things like that. Again, all of that is mobile compatible. For those of you who are using Agent Central, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that button again real quick. So we're in that marketing and productivity tools on RWT Connect. There's that Agent Central button. It's normally in horizontal version in that marketing and productivity tools section. If I go ahead and click on that, you'll notice that the RW Town Hub, which is where Agent Central is housed, is completely, again, mobile responsive. There's no app required here. 
but notice that a lot of our functions that we're used to seeing are again under that uh, under that hamburger menu, or they're going to be under your three line dots, depending on what you're looking for. So if you're looking for the nav bar that's normally on the left, it's on it's going to be right here under your um, hamburger menu. So there you go. And there's Agent Central for you. So here's all of your favorite categories. You're looking to order some pop by cards. Maybe you're getting uh, ready to do some postcards or printed materials. So you want to go ahead and put an order in here. You're looking to download some social media marketing, whatever it happens to be. All of that is, again, it's all available. That mobile responsive version, you can go ahead and just click through and it'll give you that mobile version of this. You just have to keep scrolling. So everything you're used to seeing horizontally is going to be available here um, in this vertical format. If you do need to find something, you can certainly go ahead and use that search bar. The nice thing about being in mobile format is those search bars are usually front and center um, because they're some of the main sections on these mobile responsive pages. So if you do get stuck and you haven't used this tool um, in a mobile version before, you can certainly go ahead and use the search bar either in here, or in your libraries, um, in whatever tools that you need, um, that search bar is available for you if you need it. Did anybody have any questions on these mobile responsive and mobile tools that we have available to us? And again, I know we didn't cover everything today, uh, but do know that even of all of your favorite tools that are in the system are all mobile responsive. Just cover the ones that we most use today. All right, no questions today. All right, so again, I went ahead and sent out those links in that chat, so hopefully you were able to see those about how to add uh, shortcuts to your um, your home screens on either Android or your Apple devices on there, and also some information about the Paradigm mobile app. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at web support at rwtown.com. We'll be happy to give you some help on that. And again, if you're submitting a ticket because something isn't working correctly on mobile for whatever reason, Excuse me. Just go ahead and give us as much information as possible. What device you're using, what browser you're using, and things like that. And just remember, everything has been pretty much designed for Chrome. So if you get stuck on something, try Chrome first. It's usually going to be what we're going to ask you as well. All right. Hope you all have a great and a productive week. And thank you for joining us again.